Hello and welcome to our Rocket Chat Map Support Club U tutorial. For today we are going to be covering some of the basics of how Rocket Chat works. So first you will see the URL up here, the slash home is not necessary, but make sure you type in the HTTPS, otherwise you're not going to go anywhere. So first we log in. And you're going to hear a nice chime there. For the start, you will start off in pre-streaming. You will also have access to announcements, information, Rocket Chat help, and rules. So, as noted in the rules, when you sign in, every time, you will see a box that says you agree to our terms of service and privacy policy. It's on you to read them. I'm not going to mention it again. Our rules were on the form when you signed up. So, information. Our onboarding process, again, you start off in pre-screening, and then you will be removed from pre-screening, like so. And you will hear a nice little door chime if you have your sound on. And you will be added to our introductions channel. Our introductions channel is for people to introduce themselves, obviously. Now, before I get to onboarding, there's a couple things we need to know. When you are in pre screening, you should have been suggested to change your username and name. So you can do that by clicking the avatar, going to My Account, going to Name, Username. Now, you can enter status if you really want to. You can set yourself to online, away, busy, invisible, whatever you like. So Preferences, there are a couple different options that matter to you in the beginning. First is this auto away. If you are the kind of person that prefers to let yourself be visible when you are online, you might want to either extend or shorten the period of time in seconds to the system setting you as yellow for away. There are notification settings that you can use. There are emoji settings you can use. I will show off some of the emoji in a moment here. There is also highlighted words. You can choose words to get a notifi notification on in the chat if you so choose. Now, there's a cool little deep pedophile voice that you can use. It only works if you set both of these, new message and new room, to deep pedophile. That's just kind of a neat feature. Um, if you don't live alone, you are going to want to probably leave it on the default. Um, so, that having been said, there are two-factor security options if you prefer. I don't really want to have to blur up more than I need to, so I'm going to leave those alone. So, in onboarding, you will have the opportunity to chat with other people. And when you chat with other people, like so, they will have the opportunity of replying. Now, after a certain period of time, you can After a certain period of time, you will be trusted or allowed access to the rest of the channels. Now, before I show you that, let me show you some cool features. There are a few different features. You can add reactions, you can add emoji reactions, let's say you like the party cat, you can choose the party cat. If you want to, you know, pick something a little bit more original, you can pick something more original. I don't, I don't want to make anybody feel bad, so I'm going to pick the grin, why not? 
And there is also an option to quote people, quoting people. You can either select the message, or if you're on mobile, you can hold down the message, and you can quote people like so. And you can also put emoji in the chat. Now, this is a little different depending on if you're on Android or on iOS. On iOS, you would have to type in a colon and the start of the emoji that you want. So let's say you want party cat. You have to type it in and then choose it. If you wanted to select it from Android or on browsers, you can select this. The little rocket symbol is for all of the custom emoji. Now, there's a couple different sorting options that I will go through. You can do alphabetical, you can do by activity, you can do extended. That shows a brief preview of the channels. There's medium. I choose condensed because I'm an administrator and I need to be able to see lots and lots of things. Most people like medium. Um, I think you can group it by discussions, by type, by favorites. You can favorite a channel by clicking this little star in the channel. And you can also view the directory. Now, when you first join the chat, you are not able to see the directory. That is on purpose. You can also search for channels. You can also hit Control K if you're on desktop to search the channels. You can go home, which just shows that beginning channel that you saw earlier. There's also this nifty little dark mode, light mode. I don't like light mode personally, but if you like it, you can use it, I guess. So, again, after a certain period of time, you'll be allowed access to the rest of the chat, which goes something like this. And for this part, you may want to have your sound turned off, even if we tell you to turn your sound on. Sometimes we like to mess with new members. I know, it's hazing. Hazing is bad. But it's not too bad. As you can see, the doorbell can get a little bit of annoying, so that is why we recommend you turn your sound off. Now, once you get past onboarding, there are a number of channels you can choose from. Uh, the only one that we are going to focus on really is this onboarding channel, though. That is roughly how things work. Now, once you get past the onboarding process, a uh, handy thing is looking at the pinned messages. So there's lots of pinned messages that you can see. Some of them are goofy, some of them are not so goofy. It really depends on the channel. In our requests for support channel, it's a little bit more therapeutic in nature. In humor and jokes, you're going to see excellent math humor. So, with that having been said, this is the conclusion of that part. Now we are going to go back home for the remainder of this discussion. Basically, there are three different ways, well, four different ways you can access the chat. The main way is by web browser. That applies to mobile as well as desktop. Um, we always recommend on mobile that people have access to a browser where they are signed in because sometimes the mobile apps uh, like to glitch a little bit. Sometimes you need to clear your system's cache. In order to do that on mobile, you go over here and then there would be an option right in there to clear local storage, it's called storage, same thing. Basically, on 
are mobile on the mobile apps like Rocket Chat Experimental for Android, which is the one you would want if you are on an Android platform. There are sometimes glitches where the channel orders will rearrange themselves, which is kind of spooky and annoying, but hey, it happens. It is an open source software, so there are always kinks to iron out, no pun intended. On iOS, which is a lot more stable than the Android app, it does have some issues which are often resolved by, again, clearing cache or local storage, but that is pretty straightforward. There's also, again, web browser, which is what I'm showing you now, and then there is also a native desktop application for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. So, do whatever suits you. Because it is a chat, you can basically just jump in whenever you feel like it. Um, in order to get past that pre-screening channel, you will need to talk. That is kind of our waiting area, and we keep all inactive members and new people in that channel until they talk. So, if you want to catch our attention and progress through the onboarding process, please talk. We can't help you and let you in and get to know you and you get to know us if you don't talk. So, that concludes our tutorial. Hopefully you learned something valuable today and have fun and good luck.